motivational ride along. Michael Danahy is sitting in the car next to me. Hi. Riding shotgun. Um, we've, we came, we've, we've moved away from the H. Jackson Brown Jr. and we're going to do three quotes by Pablo Picasso who with Go. the sunroof open. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's like 36 degrees and we're driving slow enough so it's not roaring. I don't have the external mic on so it's it's a little noisier than normal but I don't have the music on so we should be good. And we're driving slow enough where there's not a lot of whistling so you should be like okay. loving this. And Michael's got the first Picasso quote. Okay, so the f first quote by uh, artist Pablo Picasso is there are only two types of women, goddesses and doormats. Wow. Now, Mike and I talked about this for a second, just for fun, and he saw it like completely opposite that I did, so that's why I'm excited about this one. Well, I'm like, dude, well, I knew Picasso was kind of a jerk, but this kind of confirms my feeling. I mean, he was a genius artist, but that's like the classic goddess whore syndrome here with women. It's a total objectification of women. You're either this unattainable thing, the goddess, or you're just something I wipe my feet with. Wow, Picasso, you're like a rap star. See, now I see it. Now, the way I saw this, definitely from the not the dark side, is I see that it's more of a, an internal thing where, you know, women are either goddesses, where they, you know, where they hold themselves high in esteem, where they, they love and care and nurture themselves, or they allow themselves to be doormats and let people use them, take advantage of them. Uh, and well, there's like a remarkable in-between between a goddess and a doormat where the rest of us live our lives. Okay. Yeah, so Picasso's a jerk. <laughs> I mean, you can look it up. I wish I knew more about history to give prime examples, or if I had my little iPhone with me, I could Google it. But go ahead and Google it yourself, and you'll find out. Geniuses get away with a lot. This just proves it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, there you go. Um... I take the high road on this and I still think it's <clears throat> it's all internal. You know, women, you have a choice of how you feel about yourself. Are you gonna allow yourself to be that doormat or are you gonna you know, are you going to take yeah, pride? Yeah, but look at how society treats women. They got this model thing where you have guys who probably don't like women making clothes for women who weigh 25 pounds and are six foot tall, and that's what women think that they're supposed to look or like because doll. society uh, uh, puts, it's like, be whatever the hell you want. Don't worry about what Picasso says. There you go. And that's from Michael Danahy. And as always, I'm don't take my advice oh, on you know, anything, ladies and gentlemen. The whole thing, like I've always said, all I'm trying to do is make you smile, make you laugh, plant a little seed in your mind and make you think a little bit. I had a seed in my ear once, but I, the doctor took care of that. And a friend of mine put one up his nose. Well, that's just wrong. Yeah, it's very wrong, and, and, and they had to go okay. to the hospital to get it taken out, but we won't go there. All right. Have a most stupendous, stupendous, amazing day. Coco and Mike, we'll see you again soon. Peace. Bye.